Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, SW3D Models. My name is Izzy Mel, and I'm just going to give you guys a quick update of the uh, Battlestar Galactica prototype toy that I was commissioned to do. I still have some more work to do on this uh, project, and uh, it's uh, taken me a little while to get all the details down and, and stuff like that. Um, and I'm trying to make this so it's functional too. I'm not going to put electronics in it, but uh, I plan on making it so doors can be on other other on hinges and uh you can put uh electronics in it if you so wish but uh here's a quick uh, walk around of this piece it is approximately 22 inches in length approximately 10 inches wide and it has details both on the back and on the side, when I'll, I'll show you when I flip it all over here in a second or two. But as you can see, some of the things when I actually designed this, I designed it with the uh, images that I found on the internet. Um, it has some places as missing stuff um, that I have to design so it actually will work correctly. This is on hinges. Uh, I understand that it's supposed to flip up and I'm going to pull this off right now and I was playing around with the piece right here it was too fragile so I had to beef it up on the other side it did but you press it down there's a little uh, sling piece that goes here uh, when you press it down it, sl it sl slingshots the uh, Viper Ford and out of the ship uh, I'll probably make the, me the mechanism that goes in here and probably put a plastic toy in there or plastic design, but it won't be very accurate because it's so small. Um, but it won't, it'll be uh, for ages four and up, I guess, right? You know, nobody will choke and hazard or something like that. And then uh, let's see, you can see all the detail close up. Around the top here. And the side. So when I go back and edit this piece here, uh, I've got to fix this piece that's kind of goes in here. Um, either move it further back, or I have to uh, space give a little more spacing in between the cracks here, because when you slide it up, it doesn't quite go up as far as you need to go. And then when you do go up underneath here, it kind of bumps up against the arms. So this has the same issue on the other side too. And then the Galactica main piece here, it sits on some hinges here and here. But this piece that's designed in here, actually when you push it forward, actually launches this up, this little piece up. Let me uh, have to hit it from the bottom side because it is a, such a tight fit. So I'll have to come back and trim back a little bit here and a little back here so it's not so tight and then it'll, slide up back up here like so. Uh, let me move this off here. So my understanding is that I have to design the other, the other piece here that actually a little um, uh, drawbridge or landing thing that actually lowers down and there's like four little um, track vehicles that go down and push and they roll on out. So as we go on the side here, you can see on this one here, I gave it a little bit more room, but I dropped it and I broke that little piece off of the edge over here. So I got the reprint. It's okay because it's, like I said, it's just a mock up for me to figure this out, anyways. But I trimmed this back a little bit on this one, and even still, it's a little tight. So I'm gonna have to trim it back a little further than I thought. And then I can put a little cap piece on here, glue it so it'll go up and down easily. Uh, I'll take that off here. But as you can see on this one here, this one's a lot easier. You just push it down, it bounces back up easily, no problem. Then we have the centerpiece here. I'm gonna slide this back this way here. Uh, it's not on hinges right now. Um, like I said, I was just test fitting everything, but it would slide. Well, it would have two hinges, one on this side here, one on that end right there, right there. Um, let me put that aside here here and then it has this open bay in the middle here 
um, I still have to design the little laser gun that goes in here. I think there was some kind of trigger or something like that where you pushed at the bottom, actually forced it up. But I'm not exactly sure because I never really played with the real toy or seen how it actually functions. But that's what I'm guessing. So let me flip this on its backside here so we can see all the glorious detail that's underneath too. Um, so I've designed the wheels. I just got to put, put them in and actually um, put a little cap on them so they can roll back and forth. So you have the wheels here too and the wheel here in front. Um, and you have all the detail that's on the bottom here underneath on the side. And this is where I think that trigger housing is. Um, and then this is where a battery housing would go. Uh, it's kind of tight. I'm going to have to actually uh, readjust that one too so it's not so... Um, tight uh, tight fitted I guess along the side here and people have been asking me what this is I think this is just where the speaker mount would actually go for sound effects and this giant T I guess was actually a stand for it because it was back heavy because all the electronics were in it and remember that this thing was very, uh, all hollow plastic and all the electronics were in the back so you would need something like this to actually put down to actually give it that uh, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be uh, nose up uh, all the time. So let me pull this back piece off here. Uh, there you go. So you can see all the detail that's put on this one here too. I plan on designing it so it actually has the uh, magnet on both sides so you can pop it off and on if you need it again on the inside here. And then... You see, you got plenty of room to put electronics in there if you wanted to put electronics in there. But that's pretty much all she wrote here. I mean, I'm working a couple projects at the same time, but this one right here is another one. This, these were also not printed at the highest resolution either. Um, and the way it was printed, uh, I was flat like this instead of like this. When I go to print it the next time, it'll be printed like this. So all that, all this. These lines will disappear. It'll be a lot smoother. Uh, and it'll look a lot nicer. It'll look a lot cleaner like this one does. Here and here and here and here. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the battle. It'll start going back to her in all its glory. In all its pieces, I should say. <laughs> all right. Um, thanks very much for watching uh, the video. I appreciate it. If you like, please um, post uh, any comments that you have. Uh, any suggestions to improve this. And no, this is not the real uh, model for the TV show. It's just modeled after the toy. Um, so I appreciate the comments. Um, and I appreciate it if you'd subscribe or recommend the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Y'all have a good day.